Welcome to Mini Monday, where I, Blue King Crab, will paint minis. Minis from Dungeons and Dragons to board games to even 3D printed minis. Sit back, enjoy, and let's paint minis. Well, 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 well. Welcome back, everyone. And today, today's video, we are doing a holiday or Christmas gift, oops, hold on, bumped the camera here, a Christmas gift paint, so, or miniature, I should say, so here they are, boom, as you probably saw in the thumbnail, a fantastic print, or model, I should say, beautiful, uh, I left, um, there's links in the description on these two models that we will be painting today, uh, I scaled these both, um, in Chitu box at, I want to say this one was 350% and this one was, oh yeah, maybe four something, 400 and something. So yeah, both of these fantastic minis, I primed them in, uh, the flat gray, um, Rust-Oleum. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. <clears throat> and... It, it, it will be an easy paint job for these minis. We'll be using literally only three colors. We have um, Apple Barrel Black. We have this Craft Paint, it's, which is like a silver metallic. And then we have an Emperor's Gold. I did not pay this much for it, but um, I didn't even use a 50% coupon. It was just like an old sticker that was on there. I think I paid a, less than a dollar for this thing, or around a dollar to say. But yeah, it's just an Emperor Gold, so... Basically, two two uh, metallic paints and a base coat of black. That's all we're going to need. And for paint brushes, we will need... Where's my other one? We will need... Uh-oh. This is why you should be prepared. All right. I got two paint brushes here, or four paint brushes. We have the... The brush we're going to be using to apply our black our black paint, which is a nice, big, wide fan brush. We have a dry brush here, which I got um, I got at Hobby Lobby. It's a nice oval brush. This will be our dry brush. This will be our primary application for the gold. And then we have two smaller dry brushes, a very, very tiny sm dry brush, a zero. And then a five round brush. These will be for more detailing uh, dry brushes. And if absolutely needed, we, we will have a detail brush. But I think for right now, we'll just be using those four until further notice. Okay. We have our little paint thingy here, paint holder. Our two cups of uh, one clean water, one dirty water. So let's get right into this and get the painting. We'll put a good blob on there. Um, this is a black paint, so even if I don't use it all, it's not a big deal to me. Stuff is cheap, so don't have to worry about it. Make sure our brush is nice and wet. We want a nice wet brush here. Um, the other thing that we want to do when we're painting these, is we want to we want to make sure that we don't lose any of these this really fine detail. So don't just glob it on there. Make sure your 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 brush is nice and moist. Your paint is mixed well, so it's thinned out a bit, and then you can get in there. I start from the bottom and work my way up, uh, but you can you can start from the top and work your way down. Either way, probably is all right. Now you're gonna see that when we're putting this on here, it's gonna go on a little, maybe a little gray, like it, you don't have enough paint on there because you maybe you thinned it too much. That's okay. Just go ahead and put it on there. Let it completely dry and do it again. So I'm probably also going to be doing two coats of black paint on this. So if it takes you three coats of black paint, hey, you know what? There it is. You know? This is not going to be a very long paint job. The longest part will just be <laughs> will be the drying. That's going to be the longest uh, steps here. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this video. We're going to be painting, th or painting this one black and then the other one black. And then we'll... We'll, we'll be back then. All right. Here we go.
I think these went pretty well. Um, just cleaning out my brush here. There's a lot of black paint in there. There we go. A lot of black paint, but uh, yeah, look, these came out really, really well. So we're going to give these about maybe 15, maybe 10, 15 minutes to dry. Uh, you can put them in front of like a heater or something if you got it, and uh, that will speed up the process. Not a, or maybe a fan even. Well, I don't know, something like that. A blow dryer, sorry, there it is. If you have a blow dryer, that could speed up the process of this. But uh, I'm not in that big of a rush, so I'm going to let these sit for 15 minutes, and I'll be back in a minute. All right. See you then. Okay, and we're back. Um, it's been a day or two, the holidays and all, but uh, I put two layers of black paint all over them, let them fully dry. So, again, it's been a day or two. You wouldn't have needed that long, but uh, sometimes, you know, you just get busy. So, the two colors again, what we're going to need, this gold emperor and a metallic silver. Metallic gold is the one we're going to be primarily using, so let's just go ahead and get right into this. We will also be needing a uh, paper towel, so make sure you have that handy. So we just give our gold a good shake. And then uh, just put a good good glob down, you know, just something like that. But as you can see here, this is the the round round brush that we're going to be, or the oval mop, sorry, we're going to be using for our uh, our dry brush. So what we want to do for the for our dry brush, and this is where it gets really um, this is key. This is the entire paint, right? So we're only going to put down we're going to put down a few colors. So we want to make sure that we have it all right. So what we want to do. As you can see, we put a good amount on there. We kind of get it in here like this. That way it's in all the bristles, right? That's what we're kind of doing, digging it in there. But then we come over to our, our napkin here and we wipe it all away. And then when you see, when we get down here, there's just a little bit glinting. That's what we want. We want just a little bit. And then it's really easy. We just start touching it. now. When you first go in it like this, have a very light touch. Just just a light touch. I mean, I'm barely touching this. Remember, when we're doing a dry brush, it's easy to put more on. It's not as easy to take it off. <laughs> so less is more when we're doing dry brushing techniques. So just we're just touching it. And then as you, you know, do more and more and more, you can get a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier, and then eventually you'll be able to start really digging in there with this on all the little cracks and crevices here but look at this look at this look at this already come to life and all we're doing is just dry brushing dry brushing is probably the easiest technique to pick up and especially for models like this when you just want something really cool and maybe it is supposed to be old gold you know what i mean like that's that's what it's supposed to be. And then when we start to get in a little too little, you know what I mean? When you start to notice that it's getting, just do the same thing. Go back into here, maybe even back into this little spot we got here. Wipe most of it off. And then we'll just go right back in here. Look at this. So we're just going to continue doing this until we get all of it done. Dry brushing also doesn't take that much time. Does not take much time. Now the, the consistency we're looking for here, the consistency is that we want all the big stuff to be really vibrant, you know what I mean? We want that to be vibrant. So we wanna try to get as much as we can with that gold. And then we're gonna look at this. I'm gonna wipe this off. Make sure we get the sides of it because it is an oval brush. And again, once we get a good new portion, we want to start somewhere where it's new, and we want to just lightly. I mean, I'm barely even holding this thing. We just want to barely go over it, barely. Just and also when you get a little stragglers, just blow it out of the way. 
I want to barely touch this stuff. Dry brushing is definitely one of the easiest things that anybody can do when they're starting off painting. Look at that. You can even go a little faster. Get all that good stuff on there. Now you've probably noticed I haven't went for the face yet, right? We're going to save that. We're going to save the face because I want that, his face, to be the silver, as you probably saw in the thumbnail. That that part's going to be the silver. So we're going to try to save that for when we get to that next step. Alright, almost. Look at that, we're going to dry off all that stuff right there. And we're just going to touch his head like that. So now when we get close to here, we want to be careful with our dry brushing. We want to get everything except for his face. So just kind of pull away from it. Some of those little pieces I didn't get too much on. Make sure we get in all that. It's looking pretty good though. It's okay if we get a little bit on his face, but again, we want to try to keep away from the face. So just kind of angle your brush down. See that? So, Or you know what you can also do is just kind of do that. That'll get all your bristles nice and this way. You want to get that chin nice and good too. Get that chin on both sides. Make sure we get in all those creases. Making them look nice and shiny. Look at that though. That is a good looking mini already. Just with the dry brushing. Very easy technique. Anyone can pick it up. And I encourage everyone to give it a shot. Now again, if you look real close here, if you look real close, you could definitely see some glinting on his face. But again, the silver should take over some of that. All right, I'm gonna call him done. Very good, base coat of silver or gold, done. Now we're gonna do the young lady. The lady is gonna be a little bit different, right? We're gonna wanna try to get in all these different locations and we're going to want to try to dodge some of those so we can get good silver in there. So the, the base part, we already know, is going to be all gold. So let's go ahead and just hit that right away. So she has a lot more fine detail. So we're going to want to try to be real careful and not overbrush. Because if we put too much on here, right, we're, we're going to lose those dark recesses that we're trying to get. So we're just being really, really, really delicate here. And just flicking. We're just flicking, flicking, flicking. Flicking, flicking. Be, and, and, and we're being really, um, I don't want to say brutal with the brush, but we're definitely getting it in there. You know what I mean? We're getting our, we're getting our money's worth. Again, when we go back for more paint, make sure you knock most of it off. And the reason why I went back for more paint is because I want this little piece and those little pieces in there. Now, if you get too much on her breast, you get too much on her breast, that's all right. What you can do is just go back with uh, a black, or, you know, the black, and just hit those spots with it. And again, try to be careful with them, you know what I mean? We, if you get a little bit too much black on there, all that's going to happen is the gold's going to go away. And uh, we, I don't want to say we don't care about that, but you can always put on more gold. So we're going to just continue... Flicking here, trying to stay away from all that. I don't want to say that it's skin, but we're going to try to stay away from the spot that we want to be silver. 
And it uh, looks like I did get a bit of it, so we will have to hit a little bit with black, which, again, not a big deal. Not a big deal. Just trying to get all of that in there. And then they'll, they'll do the same for her face. Or her head, sorry, not her face. Just going to get it in there. Yeah, I hope everybody, uh, hope everybody had a good weekend. This is a nice one for the noble family. Make sure we get underneath here. Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. She has a nice golden head. There we go. So. There they are, both of them done. Now we're probably going to go back on this one because she is a little bit smaller. We're going to hit her with some uh, a detail brush with black. I'm going to do that off camera though, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. So I'm going to let her completely dry. Uh, I just painted, if we zoom in here a little bit, just painted a little bit on her back, a little bit on her chest, just to make those go back to uh, relatively white or uh, black. So. We did that, but now we're going to move on to him. So we're going to take out our uh, our number five round brush and our silver. Give that a good shake. We're just going to put a little bit on our on our dish here. Same thing. We don't want a whole lot on here because we're going to wipe wipe most of it off anyway. So we're just trying to get it all the way inside of there. Get it back and forth here. Pretty good. And now what we want to do is just start touching them, just like we did before. Now, since this is a kind of a, a flatter brush, we're going to want to just work our way from the back. And then slowly move our way in. Start on those little jowls. Slowly move our way in. You go ahead and try to avoid touching the eyes because we don't want to get any in there but if you get a little in there that's all right the uh, wash that we will be putting on after this it should cover up most of those um you know, those little touches that we did so yeah we're just going to continue going back and forth with this working our way from the outside in Working our way from the outside in this way. You can see though that a little bit of this paint goes a long way when you're dry brushing. So like don't don't uh, think that you have to put a ton on right away. Dry brushing is a oops, just like that. Dry brushing is a little bit of a slower process. So we're we're not in a big ra race here to get it all done at once. And then when you get on the head, you can just kind of go back and forth like that. On top of the head too, you can just see, just go like that. We want a little bit more on the top of his head though, because since his head is kind of where you can see a lot of the layer lines, we're going to want to try to get rid of those. So we just kind of touch it from the top here, just like that. And, um... And the pieces that are coming onto his head here that we see, we're going to actually mainly detail those in with the gold. So that's going to be our detail brush. So don't worry too much about those, but you can go ahead and, you know, touch them or try to avoid them. That's up to you. I just go over them because I know we're going to hit them again. So I'm going to get this face nice and good here.
but I think that's good. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. So we're going to go ahead and grab our detail brush. Get a little wet. Yes, I did say wet. Um, because right here, we're just going to do detail work. So we might as well have a nice moist brush to make sure we get it all on there correctly. And then starting from the back, we're just going to touch the top of this thing and work our way forward. It's okay if this piece is actually directly painted because when we put the wash on it, it's going to darken this down quite a bit. So we don't have to worry about this piece being like too bright or too dark or anything like that. That's It'll be fine. So again, we start from the back here. Just touch it with our brush here. And there we go. We got two of them done. This is a very quick paint job, which is something I like. I mean, I could have got this done the day that we uh, based them in black. Uh, but again, uh, the weekend just crept up on me real quick here. And I wasn't able to get them done that day. But we got them done the neck or the following the following weekend. So I think we're, we're doing pretty good. But look at that. Those are looking beautiful. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the last one here. Again, starting from the back, slowly working our way forward. Go ahead and touch that brush right there on the end. Now, if, this piece, if these are too hard to paint for detail-wise, for you, i just leave them alone. Just leave them leave them as the silver and look they look just fine as silver so i mean don't worry about that kind of stuff most of it's all going to be gold anyway so a little bit of silver might actually bring it up a notch you know so that's up to you and now we're now we're going to move down to this lower lip here the lower lip seemed to get a little either too black or too much silver so we're just going to touch it just to make it make it defined just the tip part much as we can yeah just touch the tip of that lip a little bit down that way i think and then the top here there's a little bit of there's a little i don't know what this thing is but we're going to go ahead and touch that as well go back and forth on those two pieces touch it right there and then there's a little spot over here I'll touch that too just touch them. I mean, it doesn't take much, so. But yeah, look at that. Very nice. Also, since you have this small detail brush, any places where you're like, oh, I wish there was a little bit more gold there, just go ahead and just go ahead and touch them. Kind of like this, you know what I mean? Just give them a little bit. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that. You can do that. That's fine. Because like I said, once we put the uh, wash on there, most of this stuff will darken up, and you won't even see uh, those those places that we're talking about here. I'm just going to get a little bit more in there, a little more in there, but otherwise, this guy's done. This guy's totally done. And the great thing about it being a dry brush, it only needs a couple minutes um, for it to dry to be able to put the wash on. Now, the wash is an easy part, but it is optional. You don't need to use the, the, the wash. If, if you are happy with this stage right here, just put a nice clear coat on it and you're done. I like mine a little darker, a little gringier, so I'm going to put a wash on this, but I don't think I'm going to show that part. I'm going to leave that up to you. A wash will be totally up to you if you add it or not. But at the end of this video, I'll show glamour shots of both of the models painted up, and uh, yeah, I guess until the next video, I'll see you all later. Peace out.